G'day everyone, thank you very much for joining me again. In this video, I'm going to experiment with faking a rear mic'd guitar cabinet. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are back in Reaper. And I guess the idea of this video is uh, just taking a guitar cabinet impulse response and messing around with it a little bit in order to sort of fake this uh, rear of the cabinet kind of sound. Uh, you might ask, why on earth would I want to do that? And quite simply, the answer is just to give yourself a different tonal flavor to just blend in to the main guitar cab sound uh, that you've got going. So what we've got here is just a, I'll just play the DI little guitar riff that I've just jotted down for this example. Just a simple little rock riff there. And so over here on my guitar amp or my DI channel, I've got uh, the super amp sim out of the super duper package from ML Sound Lab. This, uh, this amp sim is quickly becoming one of my favorites. I think it's a fantastic uh, guitar amp sim. So I'm just going to engage that. And at the moment, what you'll see is that I've got the cab impulse response turned off. I'll just turn that on quickly. So the amp settings as they are with my guitar setup, I've got a little bit of drive going on here. No other effects. These are basically the settings I have. And this is what the amp sim on its own with its inbuilt cabinet sounds like. <laughs> Okay, you get the idea there. So what I'm going to do is just play for you quickly. I'm just going to turn this uh, cabinet impulse response off that's built in uh, to the amp simulator just for now because I'm going to solo up. What I have loaded up here is an actual rear cab impulse response from one of the own hammer packages. And I loaded this up just to give myself a bit of a reference for then creating my fake uh, rear mic cab. So this is what the rear impulse response of an, an actual cabinet mic'd from the rear sounds like from this particular package. <laughs> So as you can tell, it definitely doesn't have that direct um, sound. There's, there's like some distance in there, almost a bit of a phasey or out of phase type of sound. So they're sort of the main characteristics that I'm looking at reproducing in my fake cabinet sound. So the first method I played around with was also using a plugin from ML Sound Lab uh, called the Miko Player. And this is basically a cabinet simulation plugin where you can have uh, certain speakers, uh, certain microphones, and you can actually place them in the 3D field in terms of left and right, up and down, and then also back to front as well. So the way I approached trying to create this uh, rear of the cab sort of sound was I dialed in a pretty dark um, sound to start with with one microphone and this is what this one microphone sounds like just on its own so I've just picked a uh, an emulation of a Vox speaker using a ribbon microphone and I've placed it quite far away from the cap. The, the cap of the speaker will generally be a more brighter sound and I know that I need a bit of a darker sound. So I've just moved that away from the cap towards the edge of the speaker itself. What I then did is I added in a second microphone and to me, the actual impulse response of a rear mic'd cabinet, like I said, sort of sounded a little bit out of phase. So I thought what I'll do is I will bring up a second microphone and with this one, you can see that I flipped it 180 degrees out of phase. And what I'm doing with this one is just moving this one around until I can try to 
emulate that sort of out of phase tone. So this is what I came up with. If I just mute this second microphone again. So even though that tone is quite dark, it's still quite direct. The moment that I bring in the second out of phase mic, it's kind of got that air around it now. So what I'll do is I will just flip backwards and forwards between the actual proper impulse response of a rear mic'd cabinet and then my uh, fake rear microphone using the Miko plugin. The only other thing I will point out at this stage is this plugin has a little bit of an EQ section over here. So what I did is I rolled out quite a bit of the high end just to give a sense of that out of phase, darker sound a little bit more. So here is the actual impulse response of a rear mic'd cabinet. And I'll just flick between this one and then my, my fake one. <laughs> So while they don't sound exactly the same, I think they've got very close properties. Um, so I think their, their characteristics as such are pretty close. So the next thing then is to basically blend in that sound with the actual amp sound. Now, what I discovered was quite interesting with this, if I come back to my amp simulator, is at the moment I'm just showing you the sound uh, with the inbuilt impulse response uh, turned off. What tends to happen is if you turn that cabinet response back on, you then have the cabinet response of the amp sim feeding into this fake rear mic as well. So you almost get a doubling of, or an addition of the um, cabinet emulations. And I thought it would sound really bad, but it actually doesn't sound too bad at all. So here's what it sounds like altogether. So what I'm doing there is just muting that fake rear microphone and unmuting it. And you should be able to hear just a little bit of thickness. I'll overdo it a little bit so you can actually hear the sound of that fake rear microphone and then I'll bring it back down again. So that's really overcooked. So that's a super direct sound, nice and tight. So with that rear microphone, even the, the proper rear mic, um, you kind of get this throatiness um, to the sound. And if you just blend that in a little bit, you're kind of, you're taking that real direct tight sound, giving it a little bit of throatiness, a little bit of air around it, and you get a sound that I happen to quite like. <laughs> Okay, so that's sort of example number one. With example number two, what I wanted to do is just take the cabinet section only of another popular amp simulator plugin. And in this case, we're looking at the Archetype Nolly from Neural DSP. So this is one of my favorite plugins of theirs. What I've done at the top of this plugin here is I've deacted absolutely everything except for the cabinet section. So all I'm doing is using the cabinet section here. And I took the same sort of approach, and that is I used one microphone in its normal polarity position, made a fairly dark sound, and then blended in a second microphone, um, reversing the phase and just moving that microphone around until I felt that I was getting this um, nice sort of out of phase kind of sound that, that tried to emulate the actual rear miking of a cabinet impulse response. So here's that sound on its own. I've just got to turn this cabinet off for a sec. 
So here's the Nolly cab simulation. <laughs> So as you can tell, it's still got that phasey, distancey kind of sound going on there. So let's blend that one back in with the real amp, or not the real amp, the amp simulator with its inbuilt cab simulation as well. <laughs> That's really overcooking it there, so you can hear that. And there we go, a really quick and easy way to add a bit of extra life or a bit of just a, a tonal difference to your traditional um, stock standard IRs that come with your amp simulator. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that video and found the concept interesting. Um, I love messing around with amp simulators and just trying to see uh, what I can do with them in order to just bring out different tones in them as well. And if that means blending a couple of different amp sims together and using the best of, of what they've got to offer, then, um, then so be it, I really enjoy that. If you found the video interesting and you're finding the content on the channel interesting, I really encourage you to subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. And I will see you on the next one.